let everyone stand except the family. Everyone stand. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth, he restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thou rod and thou staff. They comfort, they comfort me. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence, in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest, thou anointest my head, my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy has followed me all the days of my life. And now, family, loved ones, and friends, I'm dwelling in the house of the Lord forever.
Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise this morning. Come on, let's come on. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Reading on Billy Ray. He was a man of joy. And he loved to be with family and he loved to be with friends. So he would be so thankful today to see all who showed up to be here today for him. The day that God had prepared for him and the day that God has prepared for all of us. I am Pastor L. M. Spear Jr. I pastor Pleasant Hill Church next door to here. I've been here 24 years next door at Pleasant Hill Church. And I always call myself to Mount Prospect an assistant pastor. I always let them know, although my church is next door, I never had a key, which I should have got one from the late Deacon Willie Marchman. Should have got one from the late Deacon Floyd Bailey. Should have got one from the Deacon Brooks and all of them. But I never wanted a key, Devondre. I never wanted a key because I knew I was already the assistant what? Assistant pastor. Come on, give the Lord some praise. Amen. Amen. So I'm so thankful to be here today. The pastor, the pastor was summoned to Sumter, South Carolina. His brother passed on Wednesday, uh, Tuesday night, going into Wednesday. And we're praying for the pastor of this great church, Pastor Potts, and his mom and dad being there with them, only having two sons, and one is gone, and Pastor Potts had to be there with them, and, and he called and asked me as the assistant, and you know I could not turn it down because any time I can get to sit in his chair. Come on, somebody, get a lot of praise. Come on, we're going to have some church in here today, Joseph. That's my chairman over there. That's my chairman. He's, he's watching everything and taking notes to take back to Pastor Potts, you know, like I'm scared, Devondre. You always knew 31 years ago when I was your basketball coach at Villarica High School, I did not come into Villarica what? S scared. Come on, get a lot of praise. Come on. Get a lot of praise in this house. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I know God had already appointed me to be here this time because when I looked at this picture, and I saw a jersey on there of number 80. I saw a Wildcat jersey on one of these pictures. I know it's on there. Yeah, number, I saw a number 88. There he is. And it, go, he looked like he had an afro. Like I, Y'all don't think I had one, do you? Back in the day, I had that fro just like that. Look at that 88. That's a Wildcat. Somebody say Wildcat. 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 So 31 years ago, I came to Villarica High School to coach football and basketball in 1993 and uh, to become a wildcat. And I've been a wildcat ever since. Somebody say wildcat. wildcat. And I graduated from Fort Valley State. Who are the what? Say it loud. Say wildcats. Wildcats. It's wildcats. So come, get, put your hands together. Let's have some church in here this morning. I know it's a home going. I know it's a home going, but I love to have some church. He loved to fish. And I'm going to mention it in my message. And I love to fish too because I love to fish for people. I, won't, I, I ain't got no bait. I just got the word. And, and I'm fishing for somebody even to make a decision to come here to Pleasant Hill. Pleasant, my, my prospect, excuse me, Joseph. My prospect, I mean, I mean Pleasant Hill. I'm fishing. Somebody say he's fishing. I'm fishing. And I, and I got a big bait. It's called the Bible. B-I-B-L-E. And I'm fishing for someone to make a decision today to come to Mount Prospect Baptist Church or Pleasant Hill Church. Amen. 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 The family has outlined the program, and I would like to go by it if I can, if you don't mind. And we have a podium here for the remarks, and the family has asked for some two-minute remarks, and we know sometimes we want to tell it all. And they say just meet them at the cookout. <laughs> meet them at the what? At the cookout, and then you can tell them. Amen. 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 There's a selection by Pastor Calvin Durham that will be done. And I hope I pronounce the word, the names right if I say Deanne. De Diane. Donna. Okay, we'll go with that. Donna. Donna Dobbs. Quite familiar, Sister Dobbs. Psalms. She'll be reading Old Testaments. And Deborah Dobbs. We'll be reading our New Testament scripture, and then we'll read the obituary silently, and then I'll come back. 
is Pastor Kevin Durham here? Hey Amen, y'all. Go help us out with a selection. Anybody play anything with the with the saxophone? Y'all pick up some. Come on, put your hand together. Amen. Come on. In your world. 
in your word. Amen. Amen. A Old Testament scripture. Good morning. Let's make sure it's turned on. You take your time. Billy Ray wouldn't want you to be nervous. He just no, he wouldn't. That's it. No, he Amen. Didn't. Amen. Say no, it. He Billy Ray wouldn't want me to be nervous. That's right. Um, to my family. There you go. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and through the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Salah. For, for the word of God, for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Amen. I told you I was nervous. Well, it's Matthew. I know the name. Is. I didn't know I was supposed to read both of them, but. Matthew 11. <laughs> Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. For the word of God, for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Great job. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. I always, I always say, Sister Dawes, people who don't do nothing don't make mistakes. You've done something this morning. And not only do Billy Ray thank you, but the Lord Jesus Christ thank you. Amen. Amen. Our program is outlined now. Amen. Amen. For a bitch. Is it prayer? Okay. Prayer. Amen. Amen. Prayer. My God. Amen. Prayer. Amen. I'm sorry, Deborah. I was giving you a testament. I'm sorry, Deborah. You take my apology? Yes, sir. Pray, Deborah. Giving honor to God, who's ahead of our life. Father God, we would like to thank you for this day, my Heavenly Father. Thank you. Heavenly Father, although we're here on, on a sad occasion, yes. we ask you to strengthen us where we're weak, my Heavenly Father. Good. Heavenly Father, build us up where we're torn down. Heavenly Father, we just give thanks for you letting us have Billy Ray this Great up. Heavenly Father, great man. Yes. Heavenly Father, touch his sisters, his kids. Heavenly Father, we just need you. There is so much been going on in our family, my Heavenly Father. Yeah. Seems like we've been here every other weekend in a church with somebody laying across the table. Heavenly Father, we just know that you are trying to speak to us, Lord. Come on. Speak to us, Lord. Let us get your understanding what you're trying to tell us, Lord. Heavenly Father, we need you. Right. We need you right now, my Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, just bless my family one by one, building up with their torn down, Heavenly Father. We have a lot of sickness going on, but we know that you can already heal her. Heavenly Father, just bring this family on one accord, my Heavenly Father. Let them know that we pray together, but Lord, you got to lie. Heavenly Father, we just want to say we need you. We need you, and we give thanks. Thanks to you, Lord. Although our chain is broken, but it will be built back up. 
we just trust you. We give you all the glory, Lord Jesus. Just know we love you. Love you, love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, thank you. Amen and amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. I, I am so happy to see the Dobson, Deborah, and Anna. Thank you so much. This obituary, reading silently. One of the things our pastor always point out when we get to this Joseph is that there's no need of us going through this silently thing because once you got this program, that was the first thing you read was the obituary. So as we take time out and pause this for a little bit to look back over because I know you've looked at it one time. We give God the glory and give God, give God the praise. Amen? Amen. 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 Now this is where sometimes it get rough as a pastor and as a preacher standing where I'm standing. Sometimes we say remarks and, and some want to preach like me. And then some want to sing a solo. This is where it get tough as a preacher, Miss Brooks. And I hope these musicians help me out if we don't, but I know this family. No, the family has asked for two minutes remarks. So if anyone at this time would like to make two minutes remarks, you can come right here to my right at this time and give your two minute remarks. Amen. Amen. great cousin mm -hmm. and in his sick days um, we didn't get chance to uh, see each other that much but Billy Ray was a great person he was a great father a great cousin and boy he could cook and fish and I just want to say that I loved him I love my family I love all y'all and I'm just tired of being coming to a funeral um, we grew up, we grew up together, but we didn't grow apart. We just went. People had, well, we had different lives. You know, some had made wives, some made husbands. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm just tired of coming to a funeral, and it's time for us to get back the way we were. Amen. And I love y'all. And may y'all have my condolences. That's my cousin as well. My mom and their mama was sisters. My Lord. So, thank you. I would just like to say, as she say, Billy Ray was a good cousin, a good friend, somebody you could talk to, laugh with. Had plenty of fish fries for the family. Mm. Brought us together. As she say, we all have grew and had separate lives. And when the family's meeting now, it seems like it's at a funeral. But we need to get this family together, back together. Because if you don't know your family, you're going to end up with somebody in your family. And that's going to be sad. So I would just like to tell y'all, I know it may not be right, but I'm hosting a family reunion July the 24th at my house, and I want to see everybody there. Amen. Billy Ray, the last one that I seen him at was at the house, and I had caught old Turtle, scared of it, <laughs> didn't eat it, but Billy Ray put it on the grill. <laughs> he got here, wait a minute, let me get mine up out of him. Had my sister Kitty get all of them running at that turtle. And uh, who I caught the turtle for, <laughs> don't give him all my turtle. 
I ain't, I had that turtle in that bowl just running around. Give me a piece of that turtle. Or no, y'all can't have this turtle. <laughs> so I had the old turtle, and uh, it was some pieces left. I put them in the refrigerator, and uh, next morning I got up, I said, this thing raw. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it would change colors. <laughs> but they say, I don't want that. I thought, Bill, I said, that thing turned back raw. Mine didn't turn back raw, <laughs> so in the track can it went. <laughs> but Billy Ray, he loved eating the wild stuff, them rabbits and all that type of stuff. Now, I eat some rabbit. Now, them squirrels, they look like a little dog. <laughs> you can't fool with them. But Billy Ray, he was funny. If you ever just sat around and talked to him, he had you laughing. You know, hey, you laughing, but he's not dead. He just resting. That's right. That's right. And if we follow his footsteps, I think he, he got a place up there in heaven. Amen. And I want to go. I don't know about y'all. Y'all want to go to heaven? Amen. All right, we got to get our life together. We got to get right with God. All right. It's all right to have your little fun, but put God first. Put him first. I know I was out there, old wildcat girl, but I live for the Lord. I keep him deep down in my heart. Wherever I go, he's in the midst. But this family need to come together. I want to see y'all July 24th in the yard. You park in the back, the family union in the front. Be blessed. Um, Bill Ray was part of my life more so than, than a lot of people even knew. When we were little kids, we played together. We went to school, we was in the same class. We both got out of high school and went to work for Georgia Power. We rode to work together. When he moved, we went to Forsyth, we stayed, we lived together. <laughs> it was one of our, um, one of our bosses had a house there and he let us rent the house from him and we stayed there together. I, I remember one night, I, we came home from work and I was cooking and I went to sleep. And the next morning I woke up, the whole house it smelled like smoke. And he looked at me, he said, you went to sleep last night <laughs> and left that food in the stove. And it, his whole house smoked up. And we came back and we kind of went our separate ways, but he was always a part of, of my life. And like I say, all he fishing and things like that would just kept him happy. And he will be missed by all of us. Amen, amen, amen. We have a selection to Linda. Oh, excuse me, grandmother. <laughs> when peace like a river attended my way when sorrow like sea billows roll whatever my life that It is. 
Jesus of this glorious thought my sin not in part but the whole is nailed to the cross and I Let us pray. Father God, as I come, Lord, I come humble as I know how, realizing the children, that, who's no children now, they're young men and young ladies now, and they sit on that front row, knowing the day that I sit and bury my daddy, knowing the day that I sit on the front row and bury my mama. Sometime during these times on that front row, we don't remember nothing people say. We may hear a word, we may hear a song, or anything that we hear because our mind is on our loved one. So, Father God, I pray today, have you strengthened me all down through these years, that you would strengthen them, Lord. And help them to understand that I had to understand that weeping may endure for a night, but joy will. Joy come in the morning. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. I stand here today, I stand here today as a licensed and ordained Baptist preacher. The last time I preached here, I was a licensed. United Methodist preacher. I retired out of the United Methodist Church June of 2023. I was licensed in 2024 here this year as a licensed and ordained Baptist preacher. So I come as the first time as a licensed 
an ordained Baptist preacher in the Baptist church. I give God the glory and I give God the praise through all the journey he's taught me and learned me to do what I had to do. I think I was I think I was a principal. I think so. That's why I didn't remember her face. She was like third grade. And you know, when you get old, uh, Dunvandre, you just can't pick them up like that. You know, <laughs> can, can, I mean, come on, kindergarten. I'm telling you, I mean, I mean, I mean, we don't want to go back so far, but God has been good. God has been good to me. He's been good to me, and he's been good to all of you, and I'm so happy to be here today for this Marchman family. The reason why he was so joyful is because of his daddy, Deacon Sam. When I met him in his latter years at the Waffle House, it was never a dull, a dull moment. I wish I had somebody going to help me now. So I met, I met the real one where he got that laughter from it. And he, and he really made my morning when I got my eggs and my, and my sausage and my bacon. And, and, and Brother Milton Cox would be sitting on the side, and he started telling on Milton who he looking at and know who he looking at. Man, I tell you what, Billy Ray had to be joyful to be raised up with a daddy like Deacon Sam Marchman. But in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, as we hasten out of here, Reverend Cash and others, the word of God says in verse 6, he says, For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them that love him, his appearance. I want to talk from the subject, looking at verse 6. The time of my departure is at hand. I love to go on trips, but I hate the airport. I hate Hartfield Jackson with a passion. But I love when we depart. When I make it through the concourse and get off that train and, and get to my boarding and, and get on. But this departure is different than that departure. This departure, the time of my departure is at hand. The word of God says in Ecclesiastes 3 and 2, y'all got to say something with me now. I'm a Baptist preacher now. It says in Ecclesiastes 3 and 2, a time to be born and a time to what? A time to die. When Solomon says a time to die, Joseph, uh, Deacon, Deacon he, he sees meaning one day we all will say that, but we all will say one day. It may not be, we will always say these words. The time of my departure is, is what? Is at hand. This is why we should live each day. Oh, I'm going to preach this thing. We should live each day like it's our last. And we should live each day for Jesus. And I hope somebody in here know him. He, we just celebrated Easter. You know, he, he, he laid down his life for you. And he went on the rugged cross. You, I hope you know him. We should live each day for Jesus. It's all right to remember what we used to be. But I thank the Lord today as I stand here today. I may not be what I ought to be, but I sure ain't what LM used to be. I wish I had somebody go help me preach up in here. I, I heard a guy say he come in here from Atlanta. I, all I knew was Bankhead. All I knew was Simpson Road. All I knew was Ashby. All I, knew, I wish I had some help. I got all I knew uh, was the bluff. All, all I knew was on the back side. I may not be, did I call your street cat? Did I call you her? I may not be what I ought, ought to be, but I sure ain't what I used to be. The word of God said death comes like a what? Like a thief in the night. No man knows, I'm going to preach this thing, no man knows another day, another hour when the time will come, when our departure Good God Almighty. When all departure, Billy Ray had, had a set time. 
he had a set time to go to work. He probably didn't need an alarm clock. He knew what time he had to depart to go to Georgia Power. Oh, I wish I had some help up in there. He, he, he knew he had, and, and he worked until he retired. Billy Ray, Deacon Joseph, he, he, he had a set time to go fishing. We just didn't go fishing at any time. It was a certain time he had set to depart, my brothers and sisters, to go fishing, which he loved dearly. Everybody don't love fishing because fish don't bite all the time. You got to have patience. I wish I had somebody going to help me. So they let me know they thought he was gone, but Billy Ray was still hanging on. That's why when everyone left the creek, he probably didn't preach in a creek like I did. He probably fixed at Lake Buckhorn or at a lake or, or down in Weed Hour or down there at West Point. He probably didn't preach in the creek. But when everyone else was leaving, Billy Ray was still hanging around because he knew it took patience to get there. He knew it took patience. Family, loved ones, and friends, Billy Ray, as I get out here, Billy Ray knew at an early age that he had to make preparation, Ms. Brooke. He had to make preparation for his departure time. That's why he joined Mount Prospect Baptist Church. A lot of y'all hadn't joined no church. A lot of you don't even go to a church. But my brothers and sisters, I come by to remind some and tell somebody, your departure time is at hand. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. You ought to go to church. Sometime. Oh, I wish I could preach up in here this morning. I ain't, ain't that nobody. But, but you ought to go to church sometime. You ought not to just wait to Easter. You ought not just wait to Mother's Day. You ought not, I wish I had some. You ought not just wait to Christmas. You ought to go to church. I remember my dad, he had a third grade education, Devondre. He used to tell my three brothers, like, get up and y'all go to church. I didn't understand it then. But my brothers and sisters, I understand it now. If I didn't have Jesus, she wouldn't have never saw me being her principal. Because I'd have still been diamond in the back. Come on, my man. If I didn't have Jesus, if Jesus didn't slow me down from and made me, oh, I wish I had some help up in here. I didn't do that on my own. Don't you think I'd done all that on my own? It was because of Jesus. Oh, I wish I had somebody go help me preach this thing up in there. I done it because of Jesus. You better be getting ready. Billy Ray knew one day his departure time was going to be at hand. And he wanted his body to come back to Mount Prospect where he joined the church at. May not have showed up as many times as he wanted, but I bet you he snuck a little something, something to Uncle Deacon Willie and put a little something. Y'all know what something, something is, don't you? I had to talk that language every now and then. He put a little something, something Deborah in his hand, put a little money in his hand to put in my prospect Baptist Church. So many of us put more on a lottery than we send to the church. I come by to serve notice on you. The time of your departure is, is at hand. Ain't that nobody? I'm just saying what I'm saying. He knew that his time was coming one day. That's why he gave his life to Jesus. Getting ready, Shirley. He was getting ready for his what? For his departure. And if, if it ever been a time, I heard somebody, if it ever been a time to get ready, not about your suit, not about your clothes, tell I ain't got nothing to wear. Come as you are. Put on your club clothes. You're just coming in anyway. So you just ought to stop by anyhow. I used to do it, amen. Anybody ever stop? I, I used to do it. 
They thought I was sweating because of the Holy Ghost up in there. was more than just sweat from the Holy Ghost. I was saying, I was saying, y'all don't look at me crazy. I want you to stop by Pleasant Hill. Time you leave the club. Rock it now. Rock when you get there. Throw your hand up like you just don't care. Blow a whistle if you want to. All I'm going to do is holler and say amen. Let's have some church up in here. Anybody want to go to a church like that? That don't mind having you to come in wherever you have come from? Worrying about you smelling like, look, I smell worse. <laughs> Worrying about if I smell marijuana like, like I ain't never smelled it before. Oh, I wish I had some help up in here. The time of your departure is at hand. Let me get out of here if it ever been a time to get ready. The time is now. The old gospel song says, Sarah, this is, uh, Shirley, this is the what? Dressing up room. Down here. You got to go to heaven from down here. The time of our departure is at hand. Family, loved ones, and friends, I wouldn't depart from this place. I wouldn't depart from this life without accepting Jesus. I wouldn't depart. Didn't you hear me read coming down that aisle? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, so I will what? You think you catching hell now. If you don't accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, when you, let me get up out of here. When you get ready to depart and go down through that valley, you going to see boo-boo, school-school, Every one of your enemies going to be in that valley. Your worst nightmare going to be in that valley. I would leave out today if you, I wouldn't accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Say, neighbor, it's good to know. It's no good to know Jesus for yourself. He, he as I try to close, I, I, I believe, Cash, I, I believe in my sanctified, in my sanctified mind. And I love that name, Billy Ray. He's the first black man I ever known. Billy, Billy Ray. It usually be a, a white boy name. But when I looked down and, and I saw this name, Billy, Billy Ray, for the name. So as I try to close today for for, 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 for Billy, for Billy Ray. I believe Reverend Cash in my sanctified mind. Somebody say Billy Ray was making plans to go fishing. I believe Jerome in my sanctified mind. He was making plans to have a cookout. But I want you to know today, man, Make plans, but God, I wish I had some help, but God, uh, but God ought to suspend our, our steps. Uh, and I believe Billy Ray uh, couldn't wait, Deborah, uh, to get to a cookout uh, and grill with family and friends uh, one more, one more time. Uh, so in closing, uh, I want you to know today ha, that same angel ha, that took his wife, ha, that same angel ha, that took his father ha, and all the other family members, ha, that same angel ha, stopped by Billy Ray house ha, and told Billy Ray ha, the time ha, of your departure ha, is, ha, is at hand. Ha. Ain't God all right? Uh, one of the things uh, when you go to the airport uh, before you depart uh, and you go to the desk, uh, they ask uh, for your ID. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, you got to go in uh, your pocket, uh, get uh, and show them uh, 
your ID. Ha. But I come by to tell somebody ha, that deaf angel ha, that stopped by Billy Ray House, ha, he didn't ask ha, for no, ha, he didn't ask ha, for no ID. Ha. Deaf angel ha, don't need ha, to see your driving license. Ha. Deaf angel ha, know who you are already. Ha. So I come by ha, to tell somebody, ha, get ready. Ha. Get ready, ha, get ready, ha, get ready, ha. The time ha, of your departure is at hand. Put your hands together. Give the Lord some praise. See, see, you think what I just said was nothing. That's what you think. You think you're going to be here tomorrow. Say you think. You think you hold your time in your, in your hand. You think. Old saints used to say, say, Time is winding up. Get your house in order. And the word of God says you're wrong because you're going to surely, you're going to surely what? You're going to surely die. Get the Lord one more hand clap of praise and let me get out of here. Amen. Amen and amen. Come on, put your hands together as we celebrate life. Come on, church folk. to God's unchanging hands. Can we bless God in this place again? Amen. We do give honor to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, um, to Pastor Potts in his absence, and we're definitely keeping him and his family in our prayer. Can we bless God for the Reverend Dr. L. M. Spear, Jr.? Amen. God bless you, Pastor Spear, for sharing with this family. 
uh, to Reverend Cash, God bless you. Pastor Keith, God bless you. The family would have us to acknowledge at this time their heartfelt and sincere gratitude for all acts of kindness that you, the many family and friends, have expressed to them during this, their time of bereavement. They thank you for your calls, your cars, your floral tribute, whatever the part, the family says thank you. Even your presence here today serve as a source of comfort to this family, for we have come to find out grief shared is grief bad. Thank you, family and friends. Thank you, Mount Prospect for helping this family to bear their grief in times like these. And to this beloved family, on behalf of my brothers, Willie and Daryl Watkins, and with the entire staff of Willie Watkins Funeral Home, where the name is service, thank you for entrusting your precious loved one in our care. In knowing this, we prepare this beautiful memorial blanket in love and memory of Billy Ray Marshman, amen. like a river attendeth thy way when the sorrows like sea bella roll whatever thy lot whatever thy lot and has simply taught the marshman family to say it is well it is well with thy souls one more time let's bless god in this place amen everyone stand except the family Those ladies who are serving as flower ladies, would you please stand? If we are able to serve as a flower lady, would you please stand and come over to my left, your right? If you would like to serve as a flower lady, come over to the left here, if you will, to your right. About five ladies, if you don't mind. God bless you. God bless you. Six gentlemen serving as pallbearers. Six gentlemen serving as pallbearers. If you all will come and stand over here to the right. Bishop Askew. Amen. Can't just hold women. I got as soon as Pastor passed by. Amen. Flower ladies, if you come on. 